Okay, guys. So according to DailyMail.com, is a cure for AIDS within reach? Scientists succeed in destroying the HIV-infected cells in a major breakthrough. Scientists announce a potential breakthrough in the fight against HIV and AIDS. Researchers at Paris Institute Pasteur found a way to destroy infected cells. Currently, HIV is treated with an antiviral drug, which cannot remove the virus. The researchers claim to have found a way to eliminate the affected reservoir cells. Now, researchers at um, Paris Institute Pasteur claim they have successfully destroyed cells infected with the virus, which is typically treated with an antiviral drug. The drugs are unable to remove the virus from the body, but medical journal uh, Cell Metabolism yesterday published findings which announced the scientists have found a way to eliminate the infected reservoir cells, which is pretty damn cool. Researchers at um, this institute um, also claimed that the destroyed cells infected, the vi- infected with the virus, which is typically treated, oh, gosh, I feel like I'm just repeating the same shit all over and all over again. But anyway, the drugs are unable to remove the virus from the body, but medical journal Cell Metabolism yesterday published that um, the findings, which announced that, you know, they had that way to eliminate it. And the next steps in the research will be assessing the potential of the metabolic, metabol, what is it, metabolic, excuse me, inhibitors, in vivo, which is tested on a living organism. Um, in theory, if the viral load is low enough, destroying the cell in HIV, it hides in um, and draws that energy from, uh, could keep it from spreading. Now, this also, like I said, will keep it from spreading within the entire body, and perhaps it could eradicate it altogether, which is the hope. Um, this study was found by the Institute Pasteur or the American um, Foundation for AIDS Research in the SIT Action. Um, so that's pretty much what recently just came out. I think it actually this article came out today. So, um, Jim, what do you feel about this, This, especially with the the – talk and the conversations that we recently had with the, you know, the, the spike in teenagers all having, you know, been affected with HIV and now that they've come out and they, they may have something that can cure, cure something that, you know, we thought was not curable, period. Yeah. No, I think it's awesome. Um, you know, that is definitely something, you know, being a gay man is has always, you know, been in the back of my mind and something that, you know, is, is terrifying for me. Um, luckily, you know, I was always smart because of me having good parents that, that spoke to me about, you know, STDs and HIV, you know, before I started having sex. So I didn't really mess around with unprotected sex until, you know, yeah. um, I was my fiance and, and we are both in a very committed relationship and, you know, would never play with ourselves like that either. So that's kind of why I trust him. But, you know, as far as like the free going, you know, normal, you know, 20 something, you know, out here in this world that's gay, that's something that, yeah, that is terrifying. Something that is, you're going to think about all the time, you know, if you are, you know, promiscuous and, and sexually active. Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. So I think that is, you know, awesome. Um, I hope that this does actually lead to a cure in the near future. Um, and yeah, well, I mean, what did you think? I thought it was absolutely amazing. Um, just just seeing this article, and reading about it, um, and as Jim mentioned, this, um, you know, just you know, uh, a lot of you know. Uh, individuals who may be, you know, homosexual, how they feel. But I think it's for everybody, you know, like Jen also mentioned, promiscuous people. Even my husband told me, and me and my husband, we've been together forever. Um, but he tells me that one of the things that by, scares him in life is getting tested. Now, he knows that I'm clean. I would never sleep around with nobody else because I don't play that shit because I don't want to contract anything like that. But anytime he takes an HIV and AIDS test or whatever like that, see, that's one of the things that make him nervous just because now something has been put in his head, like, okay, I have to take this test. Even though he knows that he's clean, it's still something that bothers him, and I'm sure a lot of other people are like that too. You know, so um, to have something that is a possible cure, especially among so many people who are contracting this virus and, you know, there's nothing that they even did personally. They just messed around with the wrong individual. You know, if this is something amazing. Now, if they go ahead and do this and they can get these sales 
eradicate it altogether, that would be awesome. You know, get people, they can actually, it would be like another STD, you know, which is amazing. Now the next thing is herpes. Can we work on that? You know, because there are a lot of people who I personally know that has that disease, you know, or have that, that STD. And, um, you know, it, it wasn't by choice. You know, and I mean, obviously nothing is ever really by choice, but it's like, you know, they slept around with somebody they cared about and they loved, and this is the type of shit that happened. You know, so I'm really hoping that, you know, they, with, with the donations that they're getting, that they are still able to find more cures and able to eliminate all of these STDs that are coming people ways or these viruses that are coming people ways. So, you know, it won't be as detrimental to their life. And especially with HIV and AIDS, like that shit can kill you. So, you know, this is very important, very serious. And uh, also with cancer, too, let's, let's hope that they really get some, some, some type of material and, and things together so they can cure these, these things that, you know, people, they really don't have a choice in, in getting. Um, but, yeah, other than that, Jen, I think I'm going to call it a night, and I'll talk to you later. No, I'm just kidding.